When it comes to fourth generation fighter jets, the F-A-18 Hornet stands out not only for its exceptional versatility, but also as an enduring symbol of global military power. Especially recent upgrades have propelled the Hornet to new heights, transforming it into a formidable threat to military superpowers like Russia and China. So, what upgrades have turned the F-A-18 into a nightmare for the rivals? Why can it scare Russia and China, and most importantly, why did this aircraft maintain its dominance for over four decades? Let's dive in. Let's first take a look at how this fighter jet came into existence. The Hornet is truly a descendant of the Cobra, a claim that might sound unusual, but in the world of aviation, such relationships are not uncommon. The McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet, renowned for its role as a multi-role fighter, directly traces its origins to a special design by Northrop the Cobra. In the late 1960 USS, Northrop developed the Cobra, a twin-engine fighter intended for the export market. Although the Cobra was never officially produced, it served as a crucial foundation for a significant evolution in the aviation industry. In 1971, the U.S. Air Force issued a request for a lightweight fighter prototype, and Northrop entered the competition with its Cobra design. As a result, in the design selection competition, Northrop emerged victorious alongside another competitor, General Dynamics. Awarded the contract in 1972, Northrop began producing two YF-17 prototypes, each equipped with two General Electric YJ-101 engines. Meanwhile, General Dynamics, their rival, also developed two YF-16 prototypes with a single engine. These were the foundational building blocks for what would become one of the most legendary fighter aircraft lines of the 20th century. The U.S. Navy, with its preference for twin-engine fighter aircraft, collaborated with McDonnell Douglas to develop an upgraded version of the YF-17. After significant adjustments and redesigns, this version became the F-A-18 Hornet, a new icon in naval aviation. It was produced in three main variants, the single-seat F-A-18A to replace the F-4 Phantom, the single-seat F-A-18C to succeed the A-7 Corsair, and the two-seat training version, the TFA-18B. Another reason behind this decision is worth mentioning. The legendary F-4 Phantom, widely known for its role in the Vietnam War, demonstrated the superior capabilities of an attack fighter. However, after the U.S. Navy recognized the need to protect aircraft carriers from aerial threats, they decided to purchase the Grumman F-14 Tomcat in 1969. While the F-14 was an excellent fighter, its high cost led the Navy to search for a more cost-effective alternative. They sought a fighter that was powerful yet affordable, and this quest ultimately led to the creation of the F-A-18 Hornet, a lightweight fighter with impressive power and versatility. During its development, the original design of the aircraft was modified. The F-A-18A became the single-seat version of the aircraft, while the two-seat variant was renamed the 18B. Engineers added internal fuel to meet the Navy's operational range requirements and equipped the aircraft with General Electric F-404 engines, each producing around 20,000 pound force of thrust. The new design also included fixed air intakes and an advanced fly-by-wire control system. The aircraft featured a range of modern technologies such as a heads-up display, multifunction CRT screens, and the Hughes APG-65 radar. Infrared-guided Sidewinder missiles were mounted on the wings, while radar-guided Sparrow missiles were carried on one of the four weapon stations. The Hornet's wings could also carry bombs, or external fuel tanks, and a 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon was mounted in the aircraft's nose. The F-A-18 Hornet made its first flight on November 19, 78, marking the beginning of a new era for the U.S. Navy and establishing itself as one of the most vital fighter aircraft in later military operations. These are the key events leading to the development of this aircraft. However, before delving into the broader plans surrounding the aircraft, it's important to clarify the differences between the Hornet and Super Hornet, as many may not be familiar with these two concepts. The F-A-18 Hornet was the first model in the versatile F-A-18 family of multi-role combat aircraft, designed and introduced in the 1980 Oatmeet Air. It was capable of performing a wide range of missions from ground attack to air superiority, becoming the cornerstone of the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps fleet. However, as modern combat demands evolved, with increased requirements for range, payload, and weapons capacity, the Super Hornet was developed in the 2000s. So it is an upgraded version of the original F-A-18, designed to meet these growing combat needs. Compared to the original Hornet, it is larger, with wider wings, 
greater fuel capacity, and improved weapons load, offering extended range and endurance. It also features more advanced electronics and radar, enhancing its combat effectiveness. While the Hornet remains a key asset for the US Navy, the Super Hornet has become the preferred choice for many countries due to its superior combat capabilities and versatility. In addition, the new variants FA-18E Super Hornet, single seat, and 18F two seat, while retaining the name and design concept from the original Hornet, were completely redesigned by McDonnell Douglas. With significant upgrades, the Super Hornet became a totally new fighter aircraft, offering superior performance and combat capabilities. Unofficially, it is referred to as the Rhino in military operations, a nickname used to clearly distinguish the newer Super variants from the older Legacy Hornets in order to avoid confusion during operations on the aircraft carrier flight deck. So, from now on in this video, let's just call it Rhino. Now let's move on to the most important part of today. So, more specifically, what are their features and how have they been upgraded? The Super Hornet represents a significant leap forward with a 25% larger airframe compared to its predecessor. Wider rectangular air intakes, the more powerful General Electric F414 engines, and a fully upgraded avionics system. Compared to the original Hornet, this variant is 7,000 pounds heavier when empty and over 15,000 pounds heavier at full load. However, with a 33% increase in internal fuel capacity and larger wing surfaces, this aircraft boasts an impressive 50% greater range than the previous version. First introduced on November 29, 1995, the Super Hornet began a five-year testing program. During this period, McDonnell Douglas merged with Boeing. Although the test showed improvements in range, the Super variant still faced some performance limitations, such as slower acceleration and reduced maneuverability compared to the Hornet. This was even acknowledged by the Blue Angels when they transitioned to the Super Hornet. Nevertheless, the Rhino proved its exceptional value when it was officially put into service in 2001. The aircraft carried out strike and aerial refueling missions during the Iraq War and participated in campaigns in Afghanistan, also supporting the fight against ISIS, conducting precision strikes on the group's strongholds. Like many other fourth-generation fighter jets, the F.A. 18 Hornet has had a long service life, especially when compared to fifth generation aircraft such as the F-22 and F-35. This has led many to wonder why this aircraft is still so effective. The answer is that although the F.A. 18 was introduced in the 1970s and 1980 Iowas, the current version has undergone significant upgrades. The Block 3 Super Hornet, a powerful upgrade developed by the US Navy and Boeing, is not just a simple airframe improvement. It is a complete overhaul, transforming the Rhino from an aircraft introduced more than four decades ago into a modern fighter, ready to dominate US Navy carrier operations into the 2020s and beyond. On the outside, the FA-18 Block 3 Super Hornet doesn't look much different from the Block 2 version that was introduced in 2005, but don't let the similar appearance fool you. Although it has been nearly two decades since the Hornet received major upgrades, Block 3 brings profound improvements that aren't immediately visible. The most important changes are in the electronics and cockpit. While the Block 2 cockpit still uses basic screens and traditional gauges, the Block 3 has been significantly upgraded with a customizable 10 by 19 inch touchscreen display system, allowing pilots to access information faster and more easily. The new cockpit is simplified, providing a more convenient workspace with a wider field of view, which is especially useful in combat situations. Additionally, Block 3 is equipped with a distributed targeting processor mission processor, which is 17 times more powerful than the Block 2 version. This processor is connected to advanced network systems allowing data to be shared via the Tactical Targeting Network Technology Data Link, enhancing battlefield connectivity and information sharing. While the F-35 remains the most advanced system in cyber warfare, the Block 3 Super Hornet has clearly demonstrated significant progress, meeting the growing demands of modern combat, especially in network data integration and sharing. So, what about its functionality and importance? We have produced a few videos before. If you're interested, click the link at the end of this video. When evaluating whether an aircraft is successful, its sales figures are, of course, a crucial factor. The public record of the F.A. 18 Hornet is particularly impressive as it was chosen by the Blue Angels demonstration team to replace their A-4 Skyhawks in 1986. This decision marked a new era for the Hornet, not only in the U.S. Navy, but also on a global scale. 
Notably, in the same year, the aircraft saw its first combat action when aircraft from the USS Coral Sea carried out strike missions against Libyan air defenses, marking the beginning of an illustrious combat career. The success of the F-A-18 extended beyond combat missions to the international market. By the end of 1989, the aircraft had achieved impressive sales, being ordered by the air forces of many countries. This success further solidified its position as one of the world's leading multi-role fighter aircraft. Specifically, from its early years, the Hornet earned strong trust from numerous countries, becoming one of the most favored multi-role fighters globally. Notably, the United States adopted the aircraft as a mainstay for its Navy and Marine Corps. The first orders were placed in the 1980 CES, with the FA-18A and 18B training version replacing the F-4 Phantom II and A-7 Corsair II. The FA-18's success was not confined to the United States, it quickly expanded internationally. Canada became the first country outside the U.S. to order the Hornet in 1980, signing a contract for 138 18A and 18B aircraft to replace its CF-104 Starfighters. These aircraft were delivered between 1982 and 1988, marking the Hornet's initial use beyond U.S. borders. Australia also joined the list of F-A-18 operators in 1981, receiving 57 aircraft starting in 1984 where they served as a mainstay of the Royal Australian Air Force. Additionally, Spain joined the ranks by signing a contract for 70 F-A-18s in 1986, with deliveries taking place between 1986 and 1990. Notably, Kuwait quickly recognized the value of this aircraft and decided to purchase 4018 C and D models in the late 1980s, with deliveries occurring from 1992 to 1993. Finally, Switzerland also became an international customer of the Hornet, signing a contract for 34 aircraft in 1993. These were delivered between 1996 and 1999, replacing the F-5 Tiger and Mirage III in Swiss service. Overall, it is not only a product of the U.S. Navy, but also a symbol of combat for other countries, with a series of large contracts signed throughout the 1980s and 1990s, affirming its position in the global military aviation industry. In your opinion, which aircraft is a worthy opponent of the F-18? Which aircraft would you like us to continue analyzing? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.